Boys, it might be hideous outside, but I am pumped up for today. Today, we're actually gonna be going over to my new property. You guys have already seen it. I bought 100 acres, the dream property. I've been searching for this property for years. And today, we have a special guest coming, and this is about to be epic. I'm gonna go ahead and finish loading up in the rain, and hopefully not get too wet, and I'll tell you more. At this point, you know, 40 degrees, pouring down rain. It's gonna be like this all day. You just gotta embrace it. It's gonna be a good day no matter what. All right, boys, the guys have made it. Mike, where you at, buddy? What are we doing today? Dude, we are going to go find all your deer, yep. all your pigs, yep. and all your coyotes. Yep. And then we're gonna smoke them. <laughs> not the deer. Not course. the deer? No, not the deer. Hell. But coyote, hogs, look out. Oh, we're let me grab my coyote call. I almost forgot it. I almost forgot it. We need that joker. We might locate a bunch of coyotes today. Who knows? Might turn into a big coyote hunt. Grab that joker right there, son. Let's go ahead and throw this coyote call up in the defender. I, it's one of those things. Like, we don't know what we're going to run into today. I'm excited to see what's all on the new property. I'm hoping for some turkeys. Oh, we'll find them. Yeah, I hope there's turkeys over there because I haven't seen zero sign for turkeys. I'm excited to show you guys this drone. We're going to hop up in the truck, head over here, get to the new property, and uh, see what we can find. This is about to be pretty sick. Boys, we are pulling down Price Road. That is what I'm talking about. Hey, look off to the right. Not this pond, but the next pond. That'll be on my property. I won't see how many ducks are on it. I've been jumping so many wood ducks and mallards off this thing. It is crazy how many are here. There's always like 15 ducks on it. Look, what is that? I think that's a buffalo head. It's either a buffalo head or a hooded meganser. Let's see what these things are real quick. There's a hooded meganser. Oh, hooded muganser. But literally, the other day, this whole past like two weeks, I've been coming down here. One day I counted eight wood ducks and five mallards. And North Carolina, boys, that's that's pretty good. Is there anything else? They like to get up in those trees. I see something Dude, hitting the water. Out. They're always up back behind on all that brush, but oh well. Hey, we'll, we'll see them on the drone. That's right, baby. Pulling up on the 100 acres. I'm stoked to see what's on this thing. So the house is going to be right up here on the hill. I'm going to tear this shop down. Well, that's going to be nasty. This is that. cool. It took me oh, four man. years to find this property. This is freaking sweet. I like it. Let's hop out and uh, break these drones out. So everybody, this is Mike. If you have not seen Mike's channel, I feel like a lot of people haven't seen him, but in my area, everyone started talking about him. Check them out. Mike's stuff on YouTube is the most unbelievable stuff. So he's got this big thermal drone. Why don't you tell us about it? Yeah, this is the sickest drone on the market for what we're using it yep. for. But the camera that it's backing is uh, a 200 time zoom on there. Yeah. Thermal. 200X. Oh, dude, it's wild. You're gonna freak. When you see it, you're gonna be like, I, I can't wait to see this. So, not only is it thermal, does it have night vision like IR? It has IR, thermal, a normal camera, a 200x zoom camera, a spotlight, a speaker, you name it. This thing's got it. It has a subwoofer in it. All right, what's the predictions? Y'all probably know better than me. 100 acres, how many bucks, how many does? Mike? Do you guys have shed bucks already? Oh, some have shedded. Okay. I didn't think about that. We can, if, if it's a big shed buck, we'll still be able yeah. to see it. But yeah. if it's a smaller shed buck, maybe not. Perfect. I'll have Mike's channel link down in the description. I'm telling you, go check it out. This thermal stuff's insane. I guess you're going to see a little bit of it on this channel, but uh, pretty cool. So I'm a guess. I'm a guess. Man, there's a big block of woods. Seven bucks, 10 does. 17 on 100 acres. 24 acres of its field that we can see with our eyes. The most deer I've jumped walking, it's probably four or five. But a lot of the deer, you don't see them when you jump them. Let's launch these things, baby. That is wild. Boy, those things put off some air, don't they? All the drone guys are on their drones. We're gonna have two searching the property. This is about to be crazy. Okay. You wanna talk about a remote? That is wild. Oh, See yeah. what Mike's looking at. Oh, you're already starting on the thermal. What's the, what, what's your guess here? You it's, so, something? it's something in the trees. Oh, what is what it? What we got? Is that a possum? It's right here. This yeah, I see it. It's in a nest. Is it in a nest? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I have no idea. This is crazy. <laughs> okay, let's go check it Look out. Look at how how hot it looks though. Let's yeah, that's in it. the tree. Is it a raccoon? We're gonna find out. I mean, this is definitely an animal. I mean, talk about perfect conditions. That's a squirrel in its nest. That's his tail. <laughs> <Yeah>. No way. <laughs> He's heating up the whole nest. Are you serious? <laughs> it made sense when he got that close. It's like, oh, okay. So you can see the tail sticking up out of the nest. This is crazy. This is wild. Know everything that's on your property instantly. Start the counter. One squirrel. Here comes the deer. Oh, look at the deer. How many does we got? One, two, two three, four, three, five, six, seven. Oh my gosh. Seven? Seven deer? Look how much they look stick out. Look at that. They're cro one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, no, I'm freaking lost count. <laughs> we'll call that seven. Seven does. Yep. They're actually coming on the gas line right here, cutting across towards us. These things are freaking wild. 10,000 likes and I'll buy one. Actually, let's make it 15, because I think <laughs> that's how much they cost. 15,000. We got deer. Oh, is it hog? I don't know if no. hogs are out this yep. way. Yep. So deer, deer, whole bunch of deer. They're one, frolicking three. around. They're yeah, like, they're running around. Then these little guys are playing around down here. Oh, geez, they're There's just running ton. around. They're running, son. What's that? Let's 
see what you got. Another deer. Doe. There's a bunch of deer back here. Where are you at? That thing is quite literally in the water back there. No <laughs> way. That's badass. I done lost track of how many deer. Look at them things down in the water. That's crazy. Well, we've only seen does so far. What we got here? Another no. doe. That is crazy, man. This is the wildest thing to watch. Another doe. Yep, there's a doe. Another doe. Another big group of deer. Wow, look at all them. Oh, oh my God. goodness. Where's the buck? Yeah, we gotta find a buck. What's the count so far? A um, crap load of does. <laughs> we done lost count, bud. <laughs> all I know so far is we need to shoot a bunch of the does. Yep. My goodness. I mean, right on this group, we got one, two, three, four, six. Yeah, there's six right there. They're all over this jaunt. What we got in the trees? I am not sure. Let's go check that out, shall we? Yeah, that joker's on up in that tree. My goodness, he's helped in there. Yeah, let's see if we can figure out where he's at. I think the thermal can see through the leaves, but we can't. Oh, it moved. I think it's a coon. A raccoon? Yeah. Right there, you see his face. Yeah, coming yeah, up. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's definitely a raccoon up in a tree. Let's go, baby. We got a raccoon. That's what I'm talking about. 40 does and a coon. <laughs> that's it. Oh, I turn the dogs loose on him. Look yeah. at that joker. Is that not the craziest thing? No, look at him looking up. That is wild, <laughs> bro. What is that? I'm not sure. I think it was maybe where a deer was bedded. That looked like. Yeah. yeah, that's a deer. Is it a buck though? We need one buck. I mean, how these does yep. keep reproducing? It's a raccoon in the tree. Is it a different oh, raccoon in, or the same raccoon? Inside. That's a different raccoon. No way. In the trunk of the tree? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> how do you find stuff like that? <laughs> Thermal, baby. Yeah. Now I'm gonna set out a bunch of trail cameras and some feeders and see what all we can get on pictures out here. But so far, I mean, we've just seen a bunch of does. No. That's just looking right up. Bucks have started shedding their antlers, so Brandon, possibly. We gotta get this shot. What? What we got? All oh, the, the, the <laughs> raccoon? Honk the horn at him. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the things we're getting started on this property. This is going to be fun. But uh, yeah, apparently the buck to doe ratio is not looking good at all. All right, first buck. Just found a buck. Yeah, get in on him. Look at him chewing on the holly tree. Look at that. He's looking up, eating off that holly tree. That's a cool shot. Dude, that's a monster. One buck, 26 does. That's one happy buck right there. You know, a whitetail eat like eight pounds of leaves a day. Dude, that is so cool. I mean, not a clue in the world that we're here. People all often ask us, so do yeah. we scare the deer? Not, not at, all. at all. Like They're so high. Yeah. Now, I've flown my little drone over deer, and it scares them. Oh, yeah. But, because they hum. Yeah, like it's like, yeah, but these, these, totally fine. I better get out of the way of the helicopter coming down. That is awesome. Another big buck. Oh. Buck? Really? Monster bug. Barely seen that, that, there's that Carolina Carolina spike right there, old son. Well, we're packing up. What's the count, Mike? What'd you think? I think it's good, but not good for buck to doe. Oh, yeah. I yeah, think you got some work cut out. Yeah, yeah. 25 to 30 does, two little bucks, and a uh, couple coons. But we're actually going to head to the hunting property. We're going to do some, uh, some thermal drone hunting. You guys have probably already watched that. I'm going to come back here later. We're going to set up some corn feeders. We're going to get some cameras rolling and see what we can get on camera. We are back down at the property and we got special guest Kendall Gray. Kendall, you're in the house, bud. What are we doing today? I think that we're going to be setting out trail cameras and actually start some recon on the property. What would make you think that? Because we have a bunch of trail cameras. <laughs> Look at all these cameras, dude. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cameras, seven cell cameras. We got to put out. We got a bunch of batteries for all the cameras. We got corn. We got the four wheeler. The drone guys, we figured out we had about 26 does and two bucks. So, so far, we know our buck to doe ratio on the property is off. But there's so many other other animals on this property that we got to figure out what do we have on the new BP compound. As you guys know, we got the two ponds, we got the creek down there. The drone guys did find some squirrels and raccoons, so we can go ahead and mark them off the list. We can mark off deer, we can mark off squirrels, we can mark off raccoons, but let's find out what other species we do have. Do we have fox? Do we have coyote? Badgers? Bear? I don't know. Let's get some cameras out and figure out what's going on. I think the first step of what we're going to do, we're going to take this bag of corn right here and we're going to set up some spots in the pond and the swamp. We know we have ducks. We've seen mallards. 
mallards, we've seen magansers, we've seen wood ducks, we've even seen geese out here. So we have a lot of life on the water. The other day I found out we got yellow belly slider turtles all in this pond. There's one sitting right there on that log. We might even break out the fishing rods, see if we can't catch any fish in the pond. A little cold today for fishing, but do we got bluegill bass, yada, 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 etc. Let's go ahead, let's hop on the foiler. First spot, the ponds. Let's get them set up to see what kind of ducks we have. Do we have more ducks than what our eyes have already seen? Chop it. I'm gonna chop it. You gotta chop it. With what? Shady, bro. Oh, nice. Gotta stay strapped. All right, buddy, you have at it. Oh, my thing's seen some better Who did you hit with it, dude? Oh my goodness. Freaking cutting rocks. Yeah, I think that's, that's pretty pretty messed up right there. Yeah, that's, that's pretty clapped. It ain't even sharp. Don't, don't <laughs> I don't cut know me. if that's gonna cut anything or not. Oh, oh. 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 Well, while Peter gets to chopping, we're gonna try to get in here to this big tree to where we can strap a camera to it. We're gonna throw some corn out on the back side of this pond because that's where the ducks seem to, they like to come back here and hide in all this brush. So we're gonna see if we can't get in here and uh, dump some corn. I'm so excited. Seeing what animals are on the property is gonna be next level. Peter's making quick work. Yeah, Peter's going at it. Let me get in here real quick. I wanna go see what we're working with. Peter, buddy, you think you can get that big one down up there? Where's it at? This one? It's kind of in our way. Bit. I don't know if I can bend it any further. If it snaps, I'm falling on my ass. Holy dang. Here, just hold it. Watch your hands though, because it's gonna, gonna hurt. Ready? I guess. Shit. Yep. Yep. Oh, there we go. We can strap the camera to that tree, mate. Oh, if we grab the uh, the metal thing, I can just stick it in the water. Yeah. That's what you want to do. Yeah. All right, we got our little stand. Hopefully it doesn't fall off and sink one of my cameras. A little stand on the ground like that. That is pretty soft. That might not be the move. Anybody got a knife? Of course. You get that KG pocket knife? Yeah. Ooh. Let's get some corn out. Sweet. Now just trail camera set it up and... Yeah, can you grab me a camera, Peter? Oh, she wrote. This thing stays in the ground. Yeah, if not, you have pretty good underwater footage. I oh, like it already broke. Oh, nice. That might be why. Maybe we should just put it on the tree. Damn. Yeah, that's work. a big old tree. You could always yeah, do not. this little tree. I mean, it's not much, but you could yank it on there. Or I can clear around all those and give you the biggest one in that bunch. That'll work. First camera going up on the new property for the ducks. Hopefully this works. Yeah. Yeah, it works. It's like putting it on like three pencils, but it's gonna work. <laughs> All right, let's get this camera turned on. I'm gonna need a stick to stuff behind here, Peter. I'm gonna stick this behind here. There we go. Is that pointed the right direction? I mean, go, go land like a duck. Let's yeah, see. just go blah, swim blah, in blah, there. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> what? Nothing. Getting something sunny? <laughs> nope. <laughs> but we got the camera up. The corn spread all out throughout in here. Let's run over to the swamp. Let's set up that one. And uh, then we'll move on to some other animals. Well, we just got the camera set, the corn is out, and I'm already thinking like this swamp is so big. I cannot wait to get the side-by-sides and foilers out here in it and really like test how deep this place is. I mean, look at how big this swamp is. It's ginormous. That camera is rolling, so we're gonna scoot out of here and go on to our next location and uh, go set up some more cameras and see what else we can catch out on the property. Very solid. 
Okay guys, we just finished setting up the second camera. We came out here, if you guys remember that big old trough feeder in the original video of buying the property, we're actually using it. I don't think anyone's used this thing in years. It's got these old cedar posts and a lot of the wood cedar, some two by fours around the actual trough. Two by fours up here. It might, maybe it was a swing set or something and then they turned it into a trough feeder. But we got it slammed full of corn. We got a camera set up on it down there. I don't think anyone's used this in a very long time, but the way I look at it, this corn's gonna sit and stay dry until something eats it. So we'll have that camera right there ready to catch it on camera. This corn's gonna be here until something eats it. And it's gotta be on that camera. It's gonna be a nice tight shot. So identifying if it's a doe or a buck right now, since the antlers are off the deer, the bucks have done shedded. We'll be able to do that at this specific location. But let's go dump some more corn out. Let's do one more last big corn pile with a camera far back so we can count how many deer are coming in and using it as one. corn now we're over here at this guy's deer feeder mm -hmm. um, still got the blind set up they have not yet the guys hunting this property beforehand have you not yet came and got all their stuff the feeder still has corn in it and it's running so the deer are already patterned to come here so we're gonna throw some extra corn out get a camera on it see what pops up finish that bag off we got the camera on that tree we got two more cameras we gotta go set out so we're gonna go grab those and we're gonna get to walking we're gonna find some travel corridors whether it's coyotes foxes more deer trails what have you maybe some cameras along the creek basically put some cameras where just random animals are walking let's see what all we got so uh get that camera rolling head back to the truck grab more pick you guys up when we get to walk all right boys we're currently walking down here by the creek i absolutely love the creek let me just show you guys Little creek update for today. This is basically about what it averagely is. It's just a good little stream coming down. Peter, what you think? I love the creek, dude. Yeah? It's my favorite part on the, on the property. Yeah? Peter hasn't noticed this, but maybe you guys have. That big hill right there is a lot bigger in person than on camera. That's going to be a uh, good hill climb for the dirt bikes. I've been mapping out all the stuff for riding. It is going to be sick but uh we're down here looking for trails down by this creek we got a lot of big valleys and funnels down here that should funnel deer and create trails so uh we're just gonna walk down here and kind of see if we can find creek crossings and whatnot this is a pretty little deep portion in the creek boys kind of just yeah. walking the creek right now there's a little three foot four foot section that's pretty cool camera doesn't do it justice but being able to see all them rocks down there so pretty kg there's a bear over here dude come not, come not, look at it not like an actual bear but a bear's been here yeah, yeah. You gotta come get a look at this. Look, a bear had scratched all the bark off the tree. What the heck? Dude, that's what I'm saying. Look dude, at all dude, the claw marks. You can see his claws. Yeah. That's insane. What did you do, kind of trying to pull like, this down and lick him Licking, licking sap, yeah, like I guess. That. Unless they're like a cat and just want to claw things. No, that's <laughs> a big ass cat. <laughs> Probably gonna be some more trees like this then. Possibly. So I mean, it's falling up this creek. How long he stayed in this area? A bear, dude. We're gonna keep looking for spots to put this trail camera. We need to, hey, we do need to put a trail camera on this creek in case that bear comes slipping through. Definitely gotta find somewhere to put a cell cam on this creek. What you find? You found a deer. I found a lot of deer skulls out here, but what the heck? Maybe the bear's chewing on deer. We're only about 100 yards from that tree. Dude, yeah. there's dead deer everywhere. Yeah. That's gotta be like the 20th doe we found out here. Is that it's another one? Some more pieces of the doe. There's literally just deer skulls everywhere out here. When I walk this property, I mean, I can't tell you how many dead does I found. Had to be over 10. 10 on the low, 20 on the high. It was ridiculous. So we're actually walking a main trail that follows my creek and i've noticed a lot of deer tracks on it so i think we're just gonna slap a camera straight up on this deer trail and catch deer walking up and down the creek on the trail itself but they're gonna put it right here at this intersection because we got a trail coming in that way and a trail that tees right here and so coyotes running the trails whatever there might be be a good place to catch something so let's slap a camera on it we got that camera set up should be a good place to catch uh, some traveling animals i'm actually gonna do the same thing on the other side of the property i know where a big t in the road is and uh, we're gonna set a camera up there and i guess pick the camera back up whenever we check them let's get it baby well boys we are out at the new property and about a week ago me and kendall gray we came down here we set out trail cameras all throughout the property basically the whole property is covered with cell cams and i'm not gonna lie to you guys i've been watching the cell cams watching what shows up as it shows up we got a few people that are 
I guess they're trespassing to call it, but I think their neighbors just kind of using the property to get to their other properties and so on and so forth. So not that big of a deal. We got a lot of people using the driveway, coming up the driveway and turning around. So I'm about to throw up a gate or something. Basically, I just need to figure out who's all using the property and who's all using the property for what. Cause as long as I know who's here, it's not that big of a deal, especially outside of hunting season. But for animals, oh my goodness, what to go through. I'm just gonna start popping up pictures and show you guys what we got. We got pictures of a lot of ducks on the pond side and the swamp side over there. We got pictures of wood ducks, geese, and mergansers. Honestly, I thought we were done better. I don't know where the mallards went that I was seeing, and I'm pretty sure I did see a green winged teal jump up off the pond, but all we got pictures of is mallards, mergansers, and the geese. We kind of already knew they were there, but they're there every day. I mean, just look at all these pictures. They are just loaded in there. Some super cool, super pretty pictures from all the waterfowl. Now, as far as deer go, over on the gas line, we did have some bucks show up, and I'm amazed. The deer are holding their antlers. It is almost March, and the deer still have their antlers on their heads, which is pretty crazy. Possibly the bigger bucks have already dropped their antlers. I don't know. I'm not seeing very many big body deer. I'm seeing a lot of younger deer and we need to get them to grow up and uh, meet max potential. But the biggest buck we found on the property in those last four or five days of the cameras running was this deer right here. Just a nice little eight point, kind of young, not old. He's got potential to be all right, but all the bucks seem to be on the gas line over there on that side. Now we did have some does using the driveway, five or six does over there. We had a couple does using the trough feeder right over here. Raccoons, raccoons have been crazy. They're everywhere. They're at the gas line. They're on the trough. They're on top of the hill. They're everywhere. So we need to kill some of the coons off. One of the things that is super cool that I've already figured out, there is a ton of fox squirrels. We have fox squirrels practically everywhere. They've always been pretty rare. We got some at my hunting property, but here there's abundance of them. I've seen as many fox squirrels as I've seen gray squirrels, which is mad. I've always wanted to do a fox squirrel mount. So next hunting season, you guys might see a hunting video of me trying to kill one to mount it. As far as predators go, we've gotten raccoons. We've also got a possum at the trough feeder. When we are setting the cameras out, I said, you know, predators like coyotes and whatnot, they run the trails. So if you stick cameras on the tees of these four-wheeler trails, most likely that's where you're gonna catch animals crossing through. I mean, that's where I'd be putting and setting up traps if I was trapping coyotes or bobcats or whatnot. But we did get a couple pictures of a bobcat down by the creek. Kind of hard to tell what he is, but it looks like a big old bobcat. We had some coyotes come through there as well. Maybe we're gonna be coyote hunting, thermal hunting this property. We'll just have to see. We also caught a fox running the driveway. There's basically all your predators are covered. They are all here. So uh, I don't know if there's too many of them. I can't really tell yet, but we can definitely predator hunt it. Now all these animals, I kind of knew they were on the property other than the bobcats and the coyotes. Other than I did see a lot of sign of predators feces with hair all in them. So that being said, the only thing we're missing, I think is turkeys. I have not seen a turkey but I talked to the original landowner and she sent me some some trail cam pictures of turkeys here three years ago back in 2020 they had an abundance of turkeys I don't know if the raccoons got all the eggs and they're having trouble reproducing but no turkeys we can't I don't know where they're at I want to figure out how to get turkeys back on this property and the craziest thing of it all Christian Miller y'all don't know this I didn't say this to no one we found where a bear had scratched up that tree oh uh, you don't even know that do you what down down in that bottom on the creek there's a tree that's tore apart uh -huh. where a bear scratched up the tree crazy so a bear was here right bears are rare around here because they're just traveling and they're not really supposed to be here which is kind of weird but we got a picture of a black bear now it is from 2020 but check this out get a load of that that's a whole ass That's on bear. top of this hill right here. That's a whole ass black bear. We did get some pictures of some turkeys as well. So there's a nice, nice tom. And there's a bunch of them right there, a bunch of hens. But dude, a freaking black bear. I've never even seen a black bear in North Carolina. I've lived here all my life and they're there's a black bear that's somewhat using this property. It sounds like he comes and goes from what I've heard from all the surrounding neighbors, but you best believe I'm gonna be behind a bear tag every year. And if that dude shows up, we are gonna kill him. But that's kind of it for all the animals we have on the property. Um, we've seen rabbits, you know, all your, your little stuff, little cottontail rabbits, but I can't think of anything else. I know I'm missing stuff. There's just an abundance of wildlife. I'm just so stoked. We're gonna grow this place into one of the best hunting, fishing, riding, everything you can imagine right here. And it's gonna be so dope. But I'm gonna go ahead, close off this video. I know it's getting pretty long. If you guys would, please smash that thumbs up button. If you guys wanna see some hunting, fishing, camping, whatever you wanna see, hit the thumbs up button, put it in the comments. And if you guys would, like, subscribe, stay tuned. More land content coming, and we'll catch y'all on the next one. All right.